نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي وجعل لي وزيرا من أهلي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We are doing Surah Al-Kahf these days and uh, today we are looking at ayah number 16 inshallah wa idhi a'tazaltumuhum wa ma ya'buduna illa Allah and when you have withdrawn from them and that which they worship other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fa'u ila al-kahf then retreat to the cave ينشر لكم ربكم من رحمته your lord will spread out for you of his mercy ويهيئ لكم من امركم مرفقا and will prepare for you from your affair facility the youths are planning together Ashab al-Kahf opposed already to their people but not uh, by not doing what they were doing. As uh, we have read in the earlier ayahs that when Ashab al-Kahf saw that their people were engaged in idol worship then they withdrew and separated from them. You notice here that uh, the atmosphere was by force. they had no will of themselves they had to obey the commandment of the king but these young men said no to many things they did not want to disobey allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by obeying the king and they did not want to be persecuted as we have read in the earlier ayahs that they said that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is superior he is greater he is the creator of the heavens and the earth then they knew that if they disobey allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then they could face the greater punishment after death they had a greater vision they looked into the unseen matters the unseen which is with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but their people had a smaller vision they could only see what was before them they wanted to avoid the punishment of the king therefore they were obeying the king but as khabul kahf were believers they believed in the unseen as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in surah al baqara he said alladhina yu'minuna bil ghaib the quality of the believers is that they believe in the unseen they believe in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they say that whatever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said is true is haq and we believe in it so here ashab al kahf say that we have opposed our people already and now the moment has come to be physically distant from them and let's run off to the cave and they decide fa wu ila al kahf retreat to the cave there is no point to stay here anymore now let's move to the cave then they say to each other yan shur lakum rabbukum mi rahmati your lord will spread out his mercy for you here you see they hold the utmost belief in allah they know that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help them in that dark cave allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help them subhanallah and they say to each other wa yuhayyi lakum min amrikum mirfaqa and he will make easy for you your affairs they knew they know here that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will facilitate them allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make things easier on them and he will give them whatever they need in that dark cave 
So they run off to the cave and uh, seek refuge and uh, their people noticed that they were missing and then king looked for them, he searched for them everywhere but he did not find them. And it was said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had hidden them from him, making it impossible for him so that uh, he could not find any trace or information about them. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hid his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his companion Abu Bakr radiallahu an, when they sought refuge in the cave of Thor and idolaters of Quraysh came after him but they did not find him and uh, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saw that Abu Bakr radiallahu an was worried he said, O Messenger of Allah, if one of them look down at the place of his feet, he will see us. Prophet Wasallam said that, O Abu Bakr, what do you think of the two people who have Allah as third? SubhanAllah. Yani Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us. We are not alone. He is protecting us from our enemy. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the ayah number 40 of Surah At-Tawbah if you do not help him know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helped him in the cave when the second of the two were driven by the unbelievers when they were in the cave he said to his companion do not be sad Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us then because he is almighty all wise allah granted him his serenity and strengthened him by forces that which you were unable to see as a result the word of those who did not believe became lower and the word of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala became higher hence the history of this cave Thor is much bigger and beautiful than the history of the people of Al Kahf. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the beginning, Am Hasibata Anna Ashab al Kahfi wa Raqim, or did you think that the companions of Al Kahf and the inscription Kanu min Ayatina Ajaba were among our signs a wonder yani there are many more signs and wonders we have done subhanallah this is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he is in allah ala kulli shayin qadir he has qudrat he has ability he has power to do anything the way he helped um ashab al kahf it's one of the biggest miracle, no wonder. And uh, inshallah, we will look into the further story in the upcoming ayah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and give us the yaqeen and uh, the solid iman which Ashab al Kahf had. I mean, mean. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Ashabu Allah ilaha illa anta. Astaghfiruka. وأتوب إليك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته